Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Paige. Today I want to tell you some book recommendations that have made me cry. So for this video, I wanted to tell you about some romance books that have made me cry. Granted, I'm a very emotional person. I wear the um, my emotions on my sleeve. I just feel everything. I feel all the emotions and I also feel other people's emotions. Uh, that's just who I am and um, tears. I will cry over pretty much anything, whether it's sad or if it's just so happy that it just makes me cry or if it's just a sweet moment, I'll cry over anything. But these are the books that you know, really made me cry, whether they're sad or just something about the story that brings me to tears. So I have a few books that I want to tell you. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one comes at no surprise. This is the Full Tilt Duet by Emma Scott. Oh, so sad, you guys. So sad. The first book is sad. The second book is, you know, it's sad, but it's like trying to come out of that sadness. But the first book is extremely sad. You won't regret reading them though. I rated both books five stars in this duet because they are amazing. But this is about a girl who is in a band and she is just kind of hitting rock bottom. She meets Jonah. He is the limo driver that is driving her band to and from the venue. She gets wasted at a you know party after their concert. Her bodyguard just kind of puts her in the limo and tells her, you know, tells Jonah to drive her back to their uh the place that they're staying at. Well, nobody's there and he doesn't want to just leave her on the doorstep, so he takes her back to his apartment. And she's staying with him for a few days, you know, after you know, he's just kind of taking care of her and she just is like, you know, I need this peace and quiet and this tranquility because, you know, she realizes that, you know, there's more to life than what she's living. She's really kind of sick of the rock and roll type of life. And uh, she falls in love with Jonah. They both fall in love with each other. And this is their story. And there's a certain parts of it that are extremely sad, extremely emotional. And this book made me cry so much. <laughs> oh my goodness. And you totally need to read the second book after reading the first because how can you not? Because I had to have some kind of hope and the second book gives you that hope that you're looking for that you need after reading this first book in the Full Tilt. So there's Full Tilt and All In. The second book is Making Faces by Amy Harmon. I just recently read this book and oh my goodness. It is heartbreaking and also heartwarming. I mean, it's just got everything in it. So this is about a girl who is growing up in school and th this kind of shows from when they're kids growing up and she and her cousin are tight, like they're best friends. He has a, oh, I don't remember. It always slips my mind. The uh, condition that he has, he's born with it. Um, ah, can't think of it. It, he, it just makes his muscles really weak and um, eventually he has to use a wheelchair and, um, but he is such, this, he's not like the love interest in the book, of course, but his personality is, oh, it is so amazing. It really makes the book. Um, but this is the story of her and the, like, one of the popular guys in school. Um, after he graduates high school, he and his friends joining the military and they're sent overseas on a deployment well they are caught in like this bombing situation and all of his friends die except for him but he, you know he comes back badly injured badly scarred and he has survivor's guilt he doesn't understand why he was the only one that's uh, that survived and he was the one that kind of you know convinced his buddies to join the military with him and so he's just living this life of pain and then in comes, I don't remember her name. Um, she comes into back into his life and just, you know, is a friend to him, you know, accepts him for who he is. And uh, this was their romance. And um, her cousin is also a friend in this book, but there's 
situations that happen in this book that are extremely sad and emotional and definitely brought me to tears. The next one is Hookshot by Kennedy Ryan. This is the third book in the Hoops series. This follows a basketball player and he is falling in love with the girl, uh, Lotus, the girl, she's the cousin from to the girl in the first book in the series. And they are, you know, falling in love with each other, having this relationship and something happens to him and she is completely devastated. And in that moment, I mean, there is a happily ever after, so don't worry. <laughs> All of these books have happily ever afters. The amount of pleading that she goes to to like save him is insane. It brought me to tears because of how much, you know, he is, I don't want to give away spoilers, but he is, you know, in a very bad situation. And she is just pleading with everything in her that, you know, he has to be okay. And um, she kind of just like wills it to life. And it was uh, that part in that book. It's really not too, too emotional until you get to that part. And it's all the way at the end. And it's just like, oh my goodness, it, it totally ripped my heart out because I could feel her pain and what she was going through you know, not knowing if he was going to be okay. And it really got to me and um, I boohooed. <laughs> the next book is Deeper by Rilsey Adams. This is the second book to the Go Go Deep or Go Deeper. Go Deep, I think it is. <laughs> oh, everything is escaping my brain today. So this is a friends to lovers romance and it's, they've been friends for such a long time, but she was having trouble you know, uh, writing, she's a writer and the, her last few books have gotten bad reviews because she's just not inspired. And her friend is like, hi, I bet I can inspire you. <laughs> and she's just like, huh, that's so funny. And so they're like, well, I guess we could <laughs> like for sexy times. And so they do. And then they find out, you know, that they love each other you know they've are I mean they already love each other like you know so tremendously anyway but then it just adds a you know an extra part an extra dimension to their relationship and you know they they know that they're they're soulmates well in deeper which is the second book it shows like they're, it's just pretty much like a novella that just continues on with their relationship and it shows their, their wedding. And the book tells you that Arthur puts it in there to listen to a song and it is, um, oh, I don't remember the name of the song. I'll put it on the screen. It's by Ruel and she says to listen to it as you're like reading their wedding vows and what they say into each other. And I did, I, I, I played it on Spotify while I was reading the book. And oh my goodness, with the words to their vows, which is beautiful anyway, plus with that song playing in the background, oh my goodness, this, the love, the overwhelming love just makes, it just made me boohoo. It made me cry because it was so beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. Another book that I cried in was Steel by Kennedy Ryan. This is the third book in the Grip series, and I cannot tell you why I cried, but I did. <sighs> so this book follows Grip and Bristol. Grip is a rapper, and Bristol comes from this very prominent family. Her brother is a musical genius, and she is their manager. So she manages both of them, and... It is their romance and I love watching the progression of when they meet and all through, you know, when they become, when they finally give in to each other, how the relationship grows, when they become married. And then still is kind of, well, this is when they're married and then progressing through their relationship and things happen because, you know, life is not always easy. There's things that happen in life and things happened to them that just made me devastated and it made me cry because I could feel these things for these fictional characters but you know it's 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 not just 
fiction because these things happen to people every day and um, knowing what they went through and you know when you go through something so traumatic and you have to like pull yourself out of that and it takes a really a lot of work and it takes a lot of time um, oh, it just got to me I couldn't I could not cry I couldn't <laughs> The next book is Ever After Always by Chloe Lee. This is the third book in the Bergman Brothers series, and this follows one of the Bergman sisters, and her name is Feyre, and she is married to Aiden, and they've been married a long time, and now their marriage is in trouble. They have a lot of misunderstanding, a lot of miscommunication, which is the biggest thing, and um, this book was it wasn't really more so in like um traumatic things happening it was just that I could understand where they were coming from because I am married myself and I could understand where they were coming from a lot of the times because marriage is not easy marriage it takes a lot of work it's not just flowers and sunshine and I could understand where they were coming from and parts of this book made me cry because it really touched a personal thing, you know, really touched my soul because it was very personal to me. And uh, so yeah, that's why that one made me cry. The next one is Exodus by Kate Stewart. This is in the Raven Hood series. This is the second book in the series. The first one is Flock. <sighs> I also can't tell you what it is, but something happens in the second book. The Arthur kind of totally changes course of the story and I wasn't happy with that course at all <laughs> so I cried a lot in that book as well I just read Take a Hit Eddie Brown the other day I know how, how why did it take me so long to read this book I don't know but I just read it and it made me cry <laughs> the hero of the story is dealing with grief from losing his father and his brother and I just understand, I understand the grief process. And when he talks about, he also suffers from anxiety and I completely understand that as well. And when he talks about like what he's going through and what his mind is like saying to him, he's coming to convince himself that no, that's not happening. But you know, if you can't always reason with your brain when you're going through anxiety, you know. I just really understood where he was coming from and it really touched me on a deep level. The next one is Eleanor and Gray by Brittany C. Cherry. <laughs> so the heroine lose, you know, is her mother is battling cancer and that touched me on such a personal level because my mother passed away from cancer. And so this book really struck hard with me, guys. Whew, it was a tough one but I um I read it <laughs> I finished it but it made me cry a lot another one that made me cry was written in the scars by Adriana Locke this is about a marriage in trouble as well and you know you see them you know their troubles a lot of their troubles are from trying to have children if she keeps miscarrying the children and um they work on their marriage to the book and then something happens when they're finally in a good place and it's kind of like a life or death situation and you don't know what's going to happen and they're both very distraught like he even wrote a letter to her in case he didn't make it and it was so sad oh just having to like go through that you know is he gonna make it is he not gonna make it type of situation and they're both just like, we are, we just got our marriage back. You know, we were finally in a good place again. And now this happens and it was heartbreaking. And the last book I have for this video is Heartbreak Warfare by Heather M. Or Gerard, I don't know how to say that. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But um, this is about a girl who is in the military and she is deployed and she gets taken as like a hostage uh, or prisoner of war and she is tortured she is badly tortured and uh, what she has to go through and then when she comes back to the U.S. in her life that she's trying to live after all that traumatic things happening to her she has extreme PTSD 
her family doesn't understand. Nobody really understands except for the guy who was held hostage with her. The What she went through was heartbreaking, just simply heartbreaking. And it really makes me feel for all the soldiers or, you know, all the men and women that are in our military and what they have to go through when they go through things like that. And it just really makes me grateful that there are men and women that still sign up to help protect us and try to keep us safe. I know it's not perfect, but they're doing it. Either risking their lives for us. And ugh, it just touched this deep place in my heart. I have two brothers that are in the military and I also think about them. Like if this kind of situation had happened to them, it would just be heart horrible, just horrible. I don't even want to go there. <laughs> so anyway, those are some books that made me cry. Uh, let me know if you've read any books that have made you cry. Do you like reading emotional stories? Do you, or do you tend to shy away from them? If you do like reading them, what are they? I love reading emotional stories, even though I know that they will wreck me inside. Uh, I just, I love that deep connection that I have for them. They're not just full of fluff. You know, they're, it's kind of like real life stuff and I enjoy reading them. So if you guys have any emotional <laughs> books that you recommend, let me know. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.